you know because of the wrong calculation of the bus bar the industry or the premise itself faces a lot of problems you know sometimes it will cause us the fire hazards so for to avoid this we have to calculate the bus bar in a correct way you know in our industry we may have different types of panels for example SNDB, MDB, MCC, PCC okay whatever the panel we will do the same calculation for the bus bars suppose I am going to calculate the uh, bus bar for this SNDB for this I am taking the maximum demand of this SNDB as um, 500 kilowatt you know we will get the 500 kilowatt of maximum demand only after applying the diversity factor here i calculated the current for this maximum demand for that the power equation i equal to p by v root 3 into cos theta here the power is 500 kilowatt so 500 into 1000 by our voltage is 415 into root 3 into cos theta is 0.8 so the answer is 870 amps it is the first step of the sizing of the bus bar that is finding the current for the maximum demand. The second step of the sizing of the bus bar is applying the derivative factor. Derivative factor are depends on these factors. Installation where we are going to install our panel and the insulator means at the top and the bottom of the bus bar there will be an insulator okay and the next is the number of bus bars per phase that means for each phase how many bus bars okay there may be one two or three just like that and the altitude from the sea level and the ventilation poor ventilation or the educate ventilation is provided or not you know in our industry generally we will take 80 to 90 percentage of derivative factor you know for each of these factors there is a table okay without going through that table we can generally give an 80 to 90 percentage it is actually a thumb rule Suppose our derivative factor is 80% which means even if we install this bus bar, this bus bar is actually providing the 80% of its power. That means 20% is loss. For to compensate this, we need to divide our total current by this 80%. So our total current is 870 amps. So divided by 80% means 870 by 0 0.8 is equal to 1087 amps. The next step of this calculation is applying the safety factor. Don't think that this 1087 amps will give you a safety factor. You know, for the safety factor, we need a separate margin. Generally, we will use a safety factor of 125% in the industry, a factor of 1.25. So our current will become 1087, means this 1087 into 125 percentage means into 1.25 is equal to 1359 amps so with this step the calculation to the current is over next step is selecting the material for the bus bar you know generally in industry we are using copper or aluminum material for the bus bars you know one square mm of copper has the current carrying capacity of 1.6 amps but the aluminum has only 0.8 amps but when we compare about the quality of the material i suggest you to use the copper material because even if the cost is a little bit high for this copper the quality is best for the copper material you know in the point of maintenance also the copper is a best material so we have to convince our client of our project to use the copper material rather than the aluminum material in our example, I selected the copper material. You know, the one square mm copper can carry 1.6 amps. So I just reverse it. That means 1.6 amps, one square mm. Okay. So how many square mm is needed to carry this 1359 amps? 1359 into 1 by 1 1.6. Okay. That means 850 mm square. That is the area. You know, the area equation is width into thickness. Okay. That is this 850 mm square so we need to find the width and thickness of this uh, copper bus here i just written down the different sizes of the bus bars so here these five are the thickness of the bus bar and it is the width 
generally you know in industry for the faces we use thickness as 10 mm okay for the earthing and the neutral bus bar we generally use this 5 mm thickness but you know for the earthing and the neutral we use this 10 mm also so here i am going to first size for the face first you know the 850 mm square is the area that means width into thickness is 850 so here i just fix the thickness as 10 mm okay so the width is 850 by 10 means 85 mm that is width into thickness is equal to 85 into 10 mm from this table we need to check this size is available or not see here it is 80 into 10 it is not suitable we need to find more than this that is 100 into 10 it is applicable to this size so we are here going to select 100 into 10 mm for our bus bar and here we need to write a one which means one bus bar for one face suppose you are going to use two uh, bus bar per face then you need to write two here now we are going to size our neutral bus bar you know for the neutral we always use the half of the face which means our face is 1 is to 100 into 10 for the neutral we need to just divide it by 2 here you have two options if you want to make your width as half then you will get an answer of 50 into 10 if you want to make your thickness as half which means 100 into 5 okay i recommend to use this 1 is to 50 into 10 because whenever the thickness is a little bit high because its lifetime will be more than the 5 mm thickness next i am going to size the earth bus bar so our face bus bar i just name it as s then if our face bus bar is less than or is equal to 16 mm square we can use the s that means the face conductor and the earth conductor are same and if the bus bar is greater than 16 or less than or equal to 35 we can use the 16 mm square the face bus bar is greater than 35 then we can have half of the face bus bar you know the same table we can use for the cable calculation also here in our case our face conductor is 100 into 10 mm okay so 100 into 10 mm means actually the 1000 mm square is the area of the bus bar that means 1000 mm square is more than 35 mm square right so we can use half of the uh, face bus bar that is 100 into 10 divided by 2 okay as i said earlier in the case of neutral you have here two options you can make your width half or the thickness half so 1 is to 50 into 10 mm or 1 is to 100 into 5 mm i prefer only this 1 is to 50 into 10 mm for previous example if we use the aluminum bus bar instead of copper then let's see what will be the calculation so 1359 amps needs how much square mm of bus bar so the calculation is 1359 into 1 by 0.8 okay so the answer is 1698 mm square it is the area area means width into thickness okay so here also i just fixed the thickness as 10 mm so we need to find the width of the bus bar so the width is equal to 1698 by 10 is 169.8 that is our bus bar size is 169.8 into 10 mm so we need to find this size is available or not in our table in the previous table 169.8 is not available more than that 200 into 10 is available so we are going to select 200 into 10 mm if you have more space in your electrical room then it is okay for you but if the area is a concern factor for you then you need to make it half you know this 200 into 10 mm is for each face okay now we are going to make it half that is 100 into 10 okay whenever we divide it by 2 then we need to put here 2 which means uh, for each face we are going to use two bus bars okay don't confuse this with the equation of the neutral sizing because you know in the neutral sizing we just need the half of the face that is why at the neutral sizing when we divided it by 2 we did not put here as 2 if you want to make three bus bars per face then you need to divide it by three it is to 56.6 into 10 which means three bus bars per face and the size is 56.6 into 10 so we need to check this size is available or not so in our table 
56.6 is not available just 60 into 10 is available so we are selecting 3 into 60 into 10 mm here i just sized the neutral bus bar so as before i just need the half of the uh, phase conductor that means i just divide it by two which means we have two options as i said earlier you can make your uh, width as half or your thickness as half so you have two options that is 3 is to 30 into 10 mm or 3 is to 60 into 5 mm and then i'm going to size the earthing conductor whenever you're going to size the earthing bus bar you need to memorize that table as i said earlier okay so here the area of our total bus bar is uh, 1698 mm square per phase okay so which means it is greater than 35 mm square so whenever the area is more than 35 we need to just make half of this one so here also you have two options as i said earlier so the answer is 3 is to 30 into 10 mm or 3 is to 60 into 5 mm and here for the sizing of the bus bar we don't need to worry about the voltage drop because so you always need to consider the voltage drop for the cables because you know the cable will have too much length okay so there is a chance for the dropping of the voltage but in the case of the bus bar you know the bus bar is only accommodating a small size inside our LV room right so we don't need to consider the voltage drop and next is the clearance of the bus bars see if our voltage of the system is 415 then the clearance between the face to earth means this face bus bar and to the earth should be 16 mm okay if it is 6.6 .6 kilowatt then the 64 mm and if it is 11 kV then it is 77 mm okay and between the faces if the 415 volt clearance should be a 19 mm that means the clearance between these two phases okay and if it is 6.6 .6 kV it is 89 and 11 kV it is 127 and one more thing is if your system has two bus bars per phase or three bus bar phase, you know each bus bar will be stacked on the top of other okay i hope you got some valuable information through this video if so please like and share this video and dear friends if you want to get more videos like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. It will be a great motivation for me. Thanks for watching.